Now, Finance Minister Ken Ufuyata says government's project to ensure Ghanaians own their own homes will be piloted in two schemes. These are the Real Estate Investment Trust and the National Housing and Mortgage Fund. Government is targeting the development about, of about 2 million housing units. According to the Finance Minister, the schemes are intended to boost the housing market to make mortgages and rentals more affordable to all citizens. Really, for us at the ministry, as the minister stated, there have been a lot of priorities that we've had to um, engage in over the, uh, all of the other amenities that you all are used to. Uh, I think it's time for housing and um, uh, the, 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 the issue that we, we determined was that the financing costs were too high. So how are you able to create a mortgage and give the type of subsidy to enable public or private sector people to now take that? So one of the transition issues is the rent, rent to own, um, so that as you pay, gradually we turn it into a mortgage um, for you to be able to participate in that. So if you look at the district um, hospitals, for example, suddenly all of um, the country is going to have address. It is quite clear and, and obvious to me that maybe attaching a housing project to each of those properties will create the type of um, beauty that uh, the minister was talking about. Um, so we are looking to examine that. And we tried um, a 204 home project um, this year, even in the COVID year, and we've been able to do that in nine months, uh, which we will, we will do next week. Um, so we really are kind of building up to say, uh, well, you educate people, you feed people, people must have a home um, that they own. Uh, and stop all this sort of landlord bullying and two years of rent advance. But it will take long to do. And finally, for this segment, the International Monetary Fund is forecasting the price of crude oil in the range of between $40 to $50 next year. This will mean the nation will lose some revenue from its oil forecast for the next year. The fund said the outlook for oil demand remains grim amid new waves of COVID-19 and uncertainty about the U.S. fiscal stimulus and the U.S. presidential election. More business at the top of the hour on the marketplace. Up next, for stay tuned.